Hello everybody and welcome back to the original game on PlayStation, Formula One. Here we are at the secluded Aida circuit for the Pacific Grand Prix. Oh Murray, oh Murray, oh Murray. <coughs> yeah, anyway, hello everyone and welcome back as I said to Formula One on PlayStation. Once again, we are with our protagonist for this series. Oh, wait a minute, what's he doing now? He seems to have... St he's reversing, he's reversing. Oh my goodness, Mr. David Twat Coulthard has completely forgotten where the pit lane is because of course this is the Circuit Aida, the Pacific Grand Prix, and was a uh, very... Uh, not used a lot track, I have to say. So there you go, he's done it now. Well done, Mr. Coulthard. Now I'm excited to say that finally, with just a few more rounds of this championship to go, we have finally sussed out everything that we need to try and take the fight of this championship to the final rounds. Yes, we have sorted out the fuel. We have made the artificial intelligence stop during a 25% race, which I am very, very proud of. <laughs> and also, we have sorted out the tyre situation as well. So as we go into these final rounds of the championship, I'm hoping that Mr. DC himself, yes, Mr. David Twat Coulthard, is going to do bloody well and maybe, maybe just about manage to fight for this championship. We will see. Anyway, out now he goes on his first qualifying run. And as you can see, it's a very tight and twisty circuit at the Aida circuit. Yes, a circuit that wasn't used much and was not very well liked by the drivers. But anyway, it's the Pacific Grand Prix in 1995. So we just have to deal with it. As you can see, very, very tight here. Very, very tight indeed. So just managing to get it round there. Get it round there, David. Get it round there. Now we've got a sweeping tight left as well. Oh my goodness gracious. You can see the grandstands in the background and the buildings as well. And there's these huge big light mountains it looks like in the background. I don't know if that's actually uh, representative of the real Aida circuit. Or whether it was just uh, a ploy by the programmers to put something in to look at in the background. I don't know, I may be wrong. Those mountains may actually be there in real life, but I'm not quite sure. And I don't think they look green like that anyway. <laughs> they look like giant grassy knolls, don't they? Giant grassy knolls, and I'm sure that's not correct. Anyway, we complete the first lap now out of the pits for David Twat Coulthard, and he finishes at the moment in 20th position, but hopefully we're going to improve on that as we now do our qualifying lap. Now, as I speak to you, or should I say record this episode, we have had another real-life Grand Prix, and oh my goodness, what another cracker it was! I've got one thing to say now. Can we, can we, can we, can we turn off the excitement, please? Because it's getting too exciting now. I want to go back to the boring races, like before. Yes, we just sat there and we complained because there was no on-track action going on. Oh my goodness, yes. It was another fantastic Grand Prix, and Max Verstappen was almost going to win the race, but... An absolutely brilliant strategical call by Mercedes there. By, I think it's Bono. I think it's Bono. I do love that name, I have to say. Uh, meant that Lewis Hamilton, on fresher tyres, managed to make it to the end and pass Maxi Boy Verstappen and win the race in the end. But it was a good fight. It was a good fight. And they rolled the dice and it could have gone either way. Max only needed three more laps of tyres and he could still have won that race. So it was it was very, very close in the end. Anyway, let's have a look and see what Mr. David Quattro... David Quack. David Twat Coulthard's time is going to be as he crosses the line now. And it's going to put him in. Um, oh my goodness. 17th position at the Circuit Aida, which David Coulthard is not a circuit that he's familiar with. And it looks like that's going to be it for the race. Yes, 17th position. So this is not going to be very good at all, is it, for our championship fight into the final, final two, or is it three rounds of the championship? I think it's three more rounds left. Oh my goodness gracious. Bloody good gold. Anyway, we will see what happens, because don't forget, everything now is on check. We've got the fuel and the tyres and the pit stops all sorted now. So all we've got to do now is drive the bloody car a bit like that scene from Days of Thunder. You remember when Cole Trickle turned up and he said, yeah, well, I just drive the car. That's all I do, just drive the car. They tell me to drive, so I, I, I just drive. I don't care what it is. It could be a unicycle. I'll just drive it. Yes, that's it. So here we go. <laughs> So let's see, as David Coulthard is about to come in uh, to the pits now, uh, in a few moments anyway. We've got a few more corners to go at this very, very tight and twisty circuit at the Circuit Daida. Is it, oh my goodness, what's he doing now? Uh, oh, he's still forgotten where the pit... No, well, no, he's, he's playing it safe now because it's a very, very funny pit entrance at the Circuit Aida. So he comes in now, and now we're going to put our fuel in for the race. Yes, and as we know, this is the only way we can do it so that the other cars stop. So we're just going to go, I think, 
just onto the half there you go just onto the halfway mark and that should get us eight laps of fuel and eight laps of tires we're just going to refresh the tires just in case that also is carried forward into the Grand Prix we're not quite sure about that but we're going to refresh them anyway so it's time now for us to go to the race and first of all the runners and riders in that race are going to be coming up any second now as Coulthard is going to rejoin but we're going to quit right there here we go then the circuit Aida Pacific Grand Prix round 15 of 17 so just three more rounds left in pole position it was Damon Hill in the Williams Renault second place for Michael Schumacher in the Benetton Renault third place for John Lacey in the Ferrari fourth place for Gerhard Berger fifth place for Eddie Irvine in the Jordan Peugeot sixth position for Johnny Herbert in the Benetton Renault seventh place for Frenson in the Sauber Ford in eighth place it's Oliver's Peanuts in the Lugier Mugen Honda Ninth position for Barry Callow. Tenth place for Mark Blundell. Eleventh place for Magnussen. Of course, not the current Magnussen, but he's... Was it his dad? Yes, I think he was. Uh, anyway, Suzuki was in the Ligier in 12th place. Pedro Lamy was in 13th with the Minardi Ford. 14th for Bouillon. 15th for Badoa. 16th for Ukio Katayama in the Tiro Yamaha. 17th place for David Coulthard. 18th position for Mika Salo. 19th for Gianni Morbidelli. 20th for Taki Anui. 21st for Pedro Deniz. 22nd place for Roberto Romano and 23rd for Montamini and bringing up the rear this time is Bertrand Gasho in the Pacific Fold. Okay then, the excitement is now mounting but not for David Coulthard because he's 17th on the grid as the five lights go out it's time to say go 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 and it's away he goes. Wow, it's a good start from David Coulthard there. Look at this, he's made up a huge amount of positions already. He's been going to turn one. It's going to be a complete cluster though and it's contact with the Sauber ahead. Wowzers, absolute wowzers but he's made it up to 14th position at the moment for David Twat Coulthard. An absolutely fantastic performance from the Williams Renault driver as he darts all over the place trying to get past these back markers. Look and they are absolutely weaving all over over the circuit look at them they're going left they're going right but he always oh, contact though with Elysia contact with Elysia but up into 11th place now his next target is one of the McLarens of course you can see that because of the beautiful livery of the 1995 McLaren with the red and white uh, livery yes that's what I was trying to say livery it's absolutely beautiful anyway let's see if he can go past no he's taking it very very cautiously he's just very very tight right hander but he gets right up to the gearbox of one of the McLarens he's got a Jordan Peugeot in front of him and one of the other McLarens in front of him Wowzers, still 11th place now for David Coulthard. He goes off to the left hand side to see if he can get a tighter line to uh, tuck it in. He does tuck it in and he gets past the McLaren up into 10th place now and now has contact with the Jordan Peugeot. Just a few more positions to make though and we will be in the points. We will be in the bloody points but of course it's 6th place for the minimum points in the 1995 season and that was just one single solitary world championship point which is about to complete lap 1 of this Grand Prix. And as you can see, we're still chasing the car in front. It's the Jordan Peugeot. And of course, that's either Eddie Irvine or Ruby Barrichello. Yes, Ruby Barrichello. Absolutely fantastic driver in uh, the rest of his career. Anyway, let's move on now. Let's move on and see if we can catch past this um, Jordan Peugeot. He dives to the right-hand side of the Jordan and he gets past. It's like taking candy from a baby. And it was Ruby Barrichello, so he gets past up into ninth place now. His next target, I do believe, is a Sauber. I can't quite make out the livery because it's very, very dark. But I think it's one of the Saubers. That may be... Is it Heinz Harold Frenson? Not quite sure. Let's have a look as we go in. Oh my goodness, look at this though. The Jordan Peugeot gets past. That's Rubens Barrichello. Re-overtakes David Coulthard on the second lap. And now he's back down to 10th position now. 10th position. Wells. Oh no, there's contact though with the Jordan Peugeot. Well, that was a complete accident once again from Mr. David Twett. Coulthard and he goes back. Oh, look at this. The McLaren's. Oh no, and he's lost his front wing. I don't believe it. David Twett Coulthard has lost his front wing. This could be absolutely disastrous for this championship. It could be disastrous. And what the hell is... Oh, well, Rubens Barrichello has had to come into the pits. But David Coulthard, he's going to have to stay out. Because otherwise, this is going to ruin his pit stop strategy. Because he's going to have to pit again. Oh, my goodness. So, with lots of understeer and oversteer now, we are going to attempt with 18... Oh, my God. 18 laps remaining. But it's OK. We're going to have to pit at some point. But with 18 laps remaining, we're going to try and see if we can hold out through this Grand Prix. Damon Hill is currently in the lead. Michael Schumacher in second. Alacy in third. Berger in fourth. And we are still in 10th position at the moment. 
with this horribly understeering and oversteering car with no front wing on it as we just did we just take off the McLaren's rear wing I don't believe it I think we did it was another accident it was another accident it wasn't our fault I think that was Mark this is Mark Blundell anyway up into ninth now for David Twat Coulthard and he's still chasing after I'm sure this is a Sauber in front of yes it is a Sauber it is a Sauber it must be Heinz Harold Fenson it's got to be Heinz Harold Fenson in the beautiful Sauber of course sponsored by Red Bull in 1995 and they went on to do their own team which is currently running at the moment with Maxi Boy Verstappen there's a tenuous link for you anyway let's see if we can now get past there's Sauber trying to go back now of course the advantage of not having a front wing is that you can really plough into the cars in front because you can't do any more damage to the car all the damage you get to this car is the front wing yes you can't get any sort of nose cone damage you can't get any wheel damage or suspension damage so you can just basically pummel into the cars in front to try and bully them out of the way to get uh, higher up the grid let's see if we can though and it is Heinz Harrell Fenton I'm sure it is uh, Hilston the lead after three laps Schumacher in second Lacey in third Berger in fourth Herbert in fifth place and Eddie Irvine in sixth position and of course that Jordan Peugeot so he's going to make another attempt now as he goes wide there trying to get a tighter line coming back in but doesn't quite manage to put it off the McLaren has now drifted off to the right hand side of the circuit he's trying to pass the car in front I do believe that's got to be yeah it's got to be one of the uh, Jordan Peugeots and he does get past the Jordan Peugeot and oh my goodness it was a bit of late go oh, is he off is he off no he's back on wowzers absolute wowzers that was a very very late call there from David Coulthard but he managed to pull it off and he's up into 7th position now yes 7th place as you can see there is still the McLaren ahead though can David get past the McLaren it's a very very tight and twisty circuit at Aida and it's very very difficult to actually get past any of these cars we're just going past the pit entrance once again and David Coulthard once again can't come into the pits otherwise it's going to completely ruin his race so he's going to have to persevere and carry on with this lack of front wing so we're still continuing on still continuing on four laps now gone out of this 18 lap grand prix he was still in the lead schumacher in second and lacy in third and i've got to try and work out the tires now because i think actually they're going to last a little bit longer because this is a very very short circuit very very short circuit indeed anyway we've got a ferrari now battling with the mclaren and the mclaren gets past the ferrari so now we're going to try and get past this ferrari ourselves it's either a uh, Berger or a Lacey. I guess it's Gerhard Berger. I think a Lacey's a little bit further up the field. Uh, it's Magnussen in the uh, McLaren. That's uh, that's Jan Magnussen. Oh, it's contact with the Ferrari and he takes his rear wing off. I don't believe it. That's got to be Gerhard Berger, is it? And he manages to slip past Gerhard Berger. And now Mr. David Tratt Coulthard, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, is now up into sixth position. Yes, sixth position. Wowzers! now in the points now in the points and we've still got to try and get past this bloody damn blinking McLaren as we look at those grassy knolls once again in the background yes <laughs> oh my goodness and Barrichello is just putting the fastest lap in that Jordan Peugeot fantastic performance from Ruby as we're just about to cross the start and finish line to start another lap still holding on at the moment to sixth position there's 15 laps remaining oh my goodness we have certainly got to work out the fuel for this race because it's going to be completely different. It's not going to be 8 laps. I think we have to see if we can go to 10 laps. And hopefully we should be alright. I hope so anyway. So 5 laps completed. Damon Hill is still in the lead of this Grand Prix. But David Track Coulthard sneaks down the inside of the McLaren. Gets the place from him up into 5th position now. So all the cars in front of us are the leaders. Yes, the leaders everyone. And that's got to be... I can't quite see the livery on the car in front. Is that... No, it can't be Damien Hill. He's in the no, it's a Benetton. It's a Benetton Renault. That's got to be Johnny Herbert in the Benetton Renault as uh, David Trek Coulthard tried to go around the outside of him but doesn't quite manage to pull off that manoeuvre. But let's see if we can get past. It's going to be about another possibly four or five laps, I think, before DC is going to have to come into the pits. But don't forget, he's going to have to change his wings. So it's going to be a very, very long stop as he sneaks down the inside of the... Um, Benetton Renault that's the car I was trying to think of but I completely forgot for a moment <laughs> of Johnny Herbert and gets up now I think into fifth place and once again it says Barrichello has done a fastest lap what the hell is going on what the hell is going on anyway Hill after six laps is still in the lead Schumacher in second Gerhard Berger in third 
Coulthard now in fourth place. 14 laps now remaining. There are the leaders, everyone. There they are. There's the Ferrari. That's got to be... Um, no, the Ferrari of Berger, actually. That's John Alaty that we passed earlier. So Gerhard Berger is currently now in third position. Usually John Alaty did a little bit better than Berger, but obviously not in this race, of course. And don't forget, of course, everyone's going to be switched up a little bit because of these pit stops. The pit stops really does randomise the grid after they come in for their stops, and we get a very exciting finish on some of these cars. Don't forget, Eddie Irvine won won one of these races a little while ago and as I say that Johnny Herbert the sneaky little git has sneaked past me to DC he's lost a place and he's back down into fifth position now fifth place for David Twat Coulthard but let's see if oh there's a little bit of argy bargy here a little bit of argy bargy from Mr David Coulthard as he's trying desperately to get past um the Benetton Renault I almost forgot it once again <laughs> of Johnny Herbert so, going down the start and finish line once again to complete another lap. Seven laps now completed for Damon Hill, still in the lead, Schumacher in second. Can we get past this Benetton Renault of Johnny Herbert and get high up the grid? There's now 13 laps remaining of this Grand Prix. Look at the cars in front, they're darting all over the place, all over the place. This is unbelievable scenes, unbelievable scenes. But now David Twat Coulthard goes around the outside of the Benetton Renault and gets the place back. Fantastic. Back into fourth position now for DC. And he's got a completely broken front wing. Completely broken front wing. So he's doing very, very well indeed. You can see that he's handling the lack of uh, downforce at the front very, very well. As you can see. Yes. Anyway, let's see if we can get past this other Ferrari now. Yes, this other Ferrari. This, of course, is going to be uh, Berger. And look at this, round the outside on Gerhard Berger, didn't quite manage to pull it off yet, attacking very, very tight there. But hopefully it won't be long before he gets past. Now, of course, the plan of action, if we can pull it off, is to get past all these cars and get into the lead. Oh no, he's taken off the rear wing of Mr. Gerhard Berger and he immediately comes into the pits and immediately Johnny Herbert once again sneaks past him. I don't believe it. This is unbelievable scenes. And we've got pressure now from the um, car behind us, one of the Salbers. What is going on? Anyway, Gerhard Berger's had to come into the pits for a new rear wing, of course, so that's him out of the championship because it takes at least 20 seconds to get that rear wing repaired. And he may have to come in and pit again because his tyres may run out. With just 12 laps now remaining of this Grand Prix, Damien Hill still in the lead after 8 laps, Schumacher in seven, second and Herbert in third position now. So there they are, both the Benetton boys, the dynamic duo are basically right behind each other which means the car in front of them has got to be the leader Damon Hill so we are right with the leaders unbelievable usually it takes ages before we can catch up to them and then we have to come in for our pit stop and then it's all over but now of course they're gonna to have to pit as well so this gives us the advantage that we've been looking for since the start of this championship in other words the fact that they didn't cheat like they did at the start but of course we've worked out now because Dave is a very very clever man a very very clever man indeed no, not really. So let's see if we can get past these Benetton Renaults and maybe even our teammate Damon Hill before our pit stop and get into the lead. So that will be a fantastic achievement. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! The Sauber managed to get past but he lost his rear wing in the process so he's going to have to pit as well so the Sauber's out of it, the Sauber's out of it. And now we're still chasing after this. And look at this, Damon Hill has got a back marker in front of us. I think it's one of the 40 Folds. Oh my goodness, of course, one of the fastest cars in Formula One was the 40 Fold in 1995. It was so fast that they had to put a special restrictor on it. Oh no, and we've taken the rear wing off one of the Benettons now. I think that's Johnny Herbert. And anyway, as I say, the 40 Ford was so fast they had to put a restrictor on it to slow it down because everyone said, wow, this car is just going to win the World Championship in about the first seven rounds. So they just they had to put a restrictor on it and unfortunately it made the car at least five seconds a lap slower. Yeah, at least five seconds a lap, lap slower. It, it was a shame, but there was no other way around it. So there you go. Unfortunately, with, without that restrictor on it, 40 Ford would have completely won this championship, completely dominated. That's what I believe anyway. <laughs> anyway still oh no we've taken the rear wing off Michael Schumacher's car now and wait a minute is that a car coming to the pits is that our leader Damon Hill coming into the pits oh it's such a glorious sight to see cars pitting that haven't got damage on them and I think it is which means oh my goodness what's going to happen now are we going to have to rack and stack no Damon Hill has had to go round again oh wowzers 
We got priority. Well, I've never seen that before. We got priority in the pit stop, and that means Damon Hills has to go all the way around again. I hope he doesn't run out of fuel, but just look at all our damage here. It's got to be repaired with a new front wing, of course. 12% down on the rear wing. We put lots of fuel in to last us until the end. Look at all the cars pitting now. It's such a glorious sight. That was a 20 second pit stop, everyone. 20 second pit stop. Yeah, it's not quite as fast as how they do it these days, is it? What was it? Uh, one of the Red Bulls pulled off the other week, was it? A 1.8 second stop? Something like that, anyway. It's just madness. Just madness that they can change four tyres in 1.8 seconds. How on earth do they manage to do that? I, I don't know. Jesus. And when I used to have a car, it used to take me about three days to change a wheel when I had a plunger. <laughs> oh, it, it was just, it was just epic. It was, you know, I had to, I had to prepare everything. I had to get my little cloth out to lean on, you know, on the on the ground. So I didn't get my knees dirty, and and of course I, I, I had to wear these special surgical gloves to undo the nuts on the on the. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, let's just move on now. Let's just move on. David Coulthard comes out of the pits in eleventh position at the moment and chasing hard on the car in front which I do believe is a is it a Benetton I can't quite see it is a Benetton so that's either Michael Schumacher or Johnny Herbert but can we get back into the points well we'll find out in a moment there's not many laps to go now not many laps to go I think we've got about 10 minutes or maybe even nine minutes of this Grand Prix left as we go down the start and finish line but there are more cars coming into the pits more cars coming in we've made it up to seventh place now seventh place for david twat coulthard fantastic performance once again just a few more will be in the will be in the points we'll be in the points of just a few more nine laps there you go nine laps remaining of this grand prix uh mac oh my goodness magnuson is currently in the lead uh, well you can see what i said about every time they come into the pits it completely shuffles the pack up completely shuffles the pack up and Magnussen is currently in the lead of this race and we've got back markers and we've got run runners and riders in front oh my goodness there's just no room there's just no room and he gets past one of the 44 of course one of the fastest cars in F1 as I said earlier and we're now up into where is he now Coulthard's up into 6th place he's got that McLaren to try and get past though a little bit of contact with the McLaren trying to sneak around the outside but not at the moment so we hold on to 6th position we are now in the points so one single solitary world championship point at the moment for David Pratt Coulthard Let's see if he can improve on that. As he's now going down the inside the McLaren. Oh, he breaks very, very late though. I think the McLaren may have the line back again. And yes, he does. So still holding on to six places. as we go past the start and finish. Or should I say the pit entrance. Very, very tight and twisty. And now we go down the start and finish line. Are there any more cars coming? Yes, another car is coming. I think that was the McLaren. And I think a 44 is coming as well. Up into fifth position now. Fifth place for David Tretkultard. And the Benetton is trying to get past him. Eight laps remaining. The Benetton is trying to get past and steal the position from David Coulthard, but he's holding on steadfastly. Now Barrichello is currently in the lead in the Jordan Peugeot. Wowzers. Absolute wowzers. And we're still holding on to this fifth place now. Fifth place for uh, David Coulthard. I almost said for the hookster then, but I stopped myself suddenly. So Mark Blundell now. Mark Blundell is in the McLaren ahead of us in fourth position. Let's see if we can uh, gain a few more positions and get all oh, oh, that bloody Benetton's got passes again. I don't believe it. The, both the Benetton's are having a go at me. That's got to be Michael Schumacher's got passed. Yeah, Michael Schumacher's got passed. That David Coulthard almost bins it. Oh, he just manages to hold on with the uh, Benetton Renault behind as well. That's got to be Johnny Herbert. So six position, just one single solitary world championship point for DC. He's got to get all his guns out now to try and get higher up the grid because otherwise this championship is gone. It's completely gone because he's got no chance with just two rounds left after this one to try and win this championship. Of course, always more cars coming in, more cars coming in. Have we gained more positions? No, we haven't. They must have been back markers. Of course, the aim of this uh, career mode series, or should I say championship series, was never to actually win the championship. It was just to do as well as we could because obviously at the start of the championship, we had that um, disadvantage where we had to stop and now the other cars did. But now, of course, we've got that advantage back. So I'm really trying to get DC to fight for this championship. But I say I had no uh, preconceptions of him actually winning this championship. It was just going to be a fun little championship that we could see how well we did. I was expecting us to f finish about fourth or maybe fifth position in the championship. 
but as I say it's completely turned itself on its head with these uh, pit stops now and now I really want DC to try and fight and win this championship but anyway we will see we will see what happens Coulthard still in 6th position at the moment still fighting like crazy against this McLaren in front and he dives down the inside the McLaren yes up into 5th place now next target is this Benetton Renault who's fighting with his car in front I don't know who that is I can't quite see from the liveries because of course the graphical engine of the 1995 season is not very good not very good and look at that the Benetton just speeds past David Coulthard and he's lost a position now so he's back into is it 6th place now 6th place oh my goodness this is not looking good for DC not looking good but let's see if he can pull it out Berger is now in the lead of this race in the Ferrari wowzers absolute wowzers Gerhard Berger is currently in the lead and we are still in 6th position at the moment with just a few more laps left a few more laps left and I do believe there's about 4 minutes left now of this Grand Prix 4 minutes left so let's see if we can get any higher up the grid because we need these points we desperately need these points I've just got a feeling in these last 4 minutes that David Coulthard is just going to say screw it and see if he can get higher up the grid with maybe a little bit of argy bargy a little bit of argy bargy we will see as you can see I just said as you can see twice but never mind <laughs> oh no I don't believe it no DC DC has been passed by a Sauber now he's down to 7th place and out of the world championship points what the hell is going on for DC this is this is just not going to be very good at all is it not going to be very good at all so he's in seventh place behind a Sauber. No points on the board at the moment. Five laps now for DC. Five laps. Come on, DC, you can do it. Burgess in the lead, but we don't care about that because we want DC to get high up. Come on, we believe in you. We believe in you, DC. Come on, let's all let's all chant for DC now. Woozy, woozy, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's carry on. Come on, come on, DC. Get past the cars in front. Get past the cars in front. There's not many more laps to go. Now. Not many more laps to go. You're currently on a single solitary world championship point. But he dives down the inside of the Jordan Perch. I've up into fifth place now for David Coulthard. Next target is this Benetton. But can he get past? Yeah, and he's going down the inside of the Benetton as well. Wowzers up into fourth position now. Fourth position. And there's another Benetton ahead. And he's got trouble from a Minardi. Yes, a Minardi. I almost managed to get that out without stuttering, but I didn't. <laughs> and it... Oh, 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 my God. I don't believe it. There's cars coming to the pits. There's cars coming to the pits. One of those is a Benetton, which I think is going to damage rear wing. But there's other cars coming up into third now. Third for DC. And there's contact with the other Benetton. And his front wings come off. And that, of course, was Johnny Herbert. I don't believe it. What the hell's going on in these last dying moments of this Grand Prix? Berger still in the lead, but Coulthard up into third position now. Third place for DC. Wowzers. Absolute wowzers. This championship has now come alive. It has. It's come alive. And there in front of us are both the leaders, both the Ferraris. If DC can get past these Ferraris, he will be in the lead of this race. And I think I'm going to wet myself if that happens. Yes, I think I'll need a towel. <laughs> goodness gracious just a few laps ago he was in seventh place and out of the world championship points and now he's fighting with the two Ferraris in front which if he gets past he will be in the lead of this Grand Prix and he goes for a move on the inside of one of the Ferraris oh oh it's Gerhard Berger because the Lacey's in the lead at the moment oh this is going to be dodgy this is going to be very very dodgy indeed let's see if we can do it but don't lose your front wing DC don't lose your front wing or I think it may be game over to try and get higher up the grid Wowzers, absolute wowzers. So we're just about to complete another lap now. Oh, it's more contact, more contact. But we're going down the start and finish line. It's going down the start and finish line. Lacey in the lead. Berger in second. David Twett Coulthard in third position. Just a few more laps. Is it four more laps left or three more laps? I'm not quite sure. Thank you for telling me on the screen exactly. There's three more laps left as one of the Ferraris tried to, oh he tried to get past the 44 but David Coulthard 
sneaked past the Ferrari there, so up into second place now. Second place for David Pratt Coulthard. He's just got John Alesi, John Alesi in front of him now, and he'll be in the lead of this Grand Prix with just three more laps to go. Well, in fact, two and a half more laps to go. Oh, I just can't contain my excitement, everyone. I just cannot contain my excitement. There he is, John Alesi. There's the gap, less than one second now. So can he get past John Alesi in his final dying laps? and win this Grand Prix. Well, we're just going to find out now. Just going to find out. A few more corners of this lap to go. Not really much opportunity for DC to pass here. It's very, very tight and twisty Aida circuit. So, just about to come down the start and finish line. As you can see, David Coulthard goes out wide, tries to get a tighter exit line, but doesn't quite manage to pull it off. But thankfully, there's no cars behind him. So, let's see if we can now get behind John O'Lacy and pass him there's just two more laps left of this Grand Prix everyone 18 laps have been completed by John O'Lacy he's in the lead Coulthard in second Berger with uh, Barry Cullery in fourth Blundo in fifth Heinz Harold Fenson in sixth position wow talk about that for uh, shuffling the pack and he gets very very tight to the rear end gearbox of John O'Lacy doesn't quite do it at the moment oh he's running out of time come on DC come on I think he's going to have to do one of those classic hookster dive bombs at some point and see if he can get... Oh, wait a minute though, wait a minute. I think there's a back marker. This could be an advantage that we need, but I don't think he needs it though because, oh, it's contact. But he gets past. He gets past and he's into the lead of this Grand Prix with just one more lap to go. Wowzers. He certainly cut that uh, fine. Then he's trying to get past Elysian. Is it Elysian or is it a Tyrrell Yamaha? I can't quite see. Let's have a look as we get a little bit closer to the car in front. And it's, uh, it's uh, I don't know what it is, but we've just taken off his... No, he's taken our front wing off. I don't believe it. With one more lap to go. Can he hold on? Can he hold on against this Ferrari of John Alacy? It's going to be very, very close indeed. We're just about to start the last lap. There's a car coming out of the pits. And, oh, he's holding this up. It's one of the Jordan Peugeots. Wowzers. Absolute wowzers. This is the last lap of the Grand Prix. Coulthard has done 19 laps. As you can see, it says last lap on the screen, but can he hold on with a broken front wing, or should I say no front wing on the car? Wowzers. This is going to be very, very tight indeed. Very, very tight. Of course, he's losing uh, oversteer and understeer and everything. And look at this. He's done all over the place. He's John Lacey behind, trying desperately to get past and steal this first position away from David Pratt Coulthard. But he's holding on valiantly. Holding on valiantly like he always did. Let's see if we can get round. Can we get round? Yes. So if he can get past his back marker, this could uh, put a spanner in the works of the Ferrari because now the Ferrari's going to get past him as well. Of course, no blue flags in um, Formula 1, the original game for PlayStation. No blue flags at all, so they just had to sort of work their way around these cars. And I think that may have given DC just the advantage that he needed now to win this race because I can't see John Lacey right up against his gearbox. And it's the final dying second of the Grand Prix. doesn't really matter, just around the final corner once now. And I think... David Coulthard, oh, John O'Lacy's still there, he's covering off the line, he's covering it off, and is he going to win? I think he, 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 oh, fuck. <laughs> David Coulthard wins the race, 29 minutes, John O'Lacy in second, Gail Berger in third, Rubens Barrichello in fourth. Wowzers. Let's go to the championship standings. And Coulthard is now in second place, just behind Damon Hill, with just two more rounds to go. Oh, my goodness. 122 points in the constructors. Where in front? Well, that was damn bloody exciting at the end. Damn bloody exciting. I'd just like to say thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm going to go for a little lie down now, because that was way too much excitement for the hookster. And you've been awesome, as always. And as always, there will, of course, be more... Later.